So with that, we're going to go through a couple things, a couple more slides with you guys and tell you what we've done. I'm going to share this with uh, uh, Tanner and I are going to go back and forth because he's been more involved with the document library that you see on the screen, the forms automation. I'm going to talk about the web portal integration, which I think you're going to find exciting, actually. We've already talked a little bit, but I'm going to add a little bit to what Seth was talking about, about insurance and compliance tracking, and then also about the BPM solutions, business process management, because that's a new term to you. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to that. So, Terry, you might want to put this on. Just hold it up. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, good to see some faces in here I haven't seen for a while, and uh, glad you all can come. Uh, as we start on the topic of going outside of the AP world, we at EWA had to make it a little bit more easier uh, for companies to a. Um, How's this? There we go. So we start exploring down different avenues on how can we make it easier for our clients to get outside of the AP world since that's about maybe a good majority of you in here is still using AP Flow which is a very good module and has you know, become a very benefit in your company. But now let's talk about getting more out of your investment. I mean you paid for paperless. Got the AP Flow so you know it's not just AP Flow. We can have different departments as you talked to Elizabeth you know, she started with HR and then moving into AP. And so for a lot of you, now we need to discuss about how to move at AP into different departments. And as Elizabeth kind of touched on is that it's the hardest part, and I agree with her, is sitting down, talking about the different document types and then associated indexes. I mean, you, I mean it's, a, it's a cumbersome task to do that. I mean, you've, I've all worked with you and, you know, we talked about it and you know, now it's time to, okay, now let's really do it. So what I've come up with is, it's been in a couple months of me working on this project, but I've actually created what's called the EWA Document Library. And what it is, is it's, a, it's an actual SQL script that gets loaded on your server that I can add about 250 documents in less than 30 seconds to your paperless system, okay? And what I came up with that list is just working with different clients on day to day, I, you know, as, my father told you, you know, he has stories, and as I take his footsteps, now I have my own stories to tell. And to tell is the, all the different documents that I deal with on a, different, on a daily basis with you guys. And so taking that information I've learned over the last six years working for EWA is that I've become pretty knowledgeable when it comes to construction and documentation. So what I've done was now with the SQL script, it's, it's pretty easy. You just deploy it on your server and... You just create your security groups and away you go. So just you either training, training at that end. So this is kind of our first step into getting you guys in two different departments and paperless. So with Elizabeth, you know, instead of actually, you know, what they call today, people's time is valuable. And a lot of people's time, they don't, they don't have that time to sit down and talk about document types, indexes, and security. It's just not feasible. So with the document library, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of our first step into getting you to different departments. So I hopefully, um, if you are interested in this object and, and to move on, uh, we do have this product to offer you guys um, for your paperless system. Uh, outside of the document library, I have now taken on the task of a lot of questions have become to me about user forms. And Seth talked a little bit about that, about having an uh, advanced module and feature where we can have form automation. But I've kind of already taken the step because it's been a pretty hot topic for a lot of our, a lot of our clients as to how to get some forms and make forms a little bit more automated in the paperless system. Because today, a lot of your forms is pretty much done outside of paperless. You got the whole routing, you got the approval, uh, maybe it lost, you don't know who has the form. And so, now we're taking the forms as, okay, well, let the AP flow is great in tracking. Why not use paperless to track also forms in, in, inside your system? So as I went down this, this path, I've kind of gotten knowledgeable into what's called the Acrobat Adobe uh, 10, which is a nice program to where you can create forms from inside your company. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good product. You can create, uh, you can scan a form, it'll actually read the, the, the actual lines for you and it'll start filling in fillable forms. So I've come up with a way to uh, have it kind of automated and paperless. Uh, I did a little webinar a couple weeks ago in regards to this to where I showed a few companies on how to have forms inside a paperless f 
fill them out and then route them through the dock router for approval. And a lot of those are your, like with the I-9s, the new hire, vacation requests, accident reports. I mean, there's a, just tons of forms that we can think of that we deal with on a daily basis. So with the two products I, I started talking about with the forms is the Acrobat Adobe is a really good one, it's cheap. It just has the reader on your workstation. And now with the new 4.5 that Seth showed, you now have the ability to actually have it native on the actual viewer now. So it's not like the unsupported data, which you guys probably see today if you drag and drop a document. Now we have it actually embedded in paperless. So now you can just fill out the form and we can actually route that digital form in, in paperless and apply our digital signatures and everything that we do with the actual AP flow. A little bit more advanced forms is that I actually started looking into what's called the Microsoft InfoPath product. Uh, InfoPath um, is, I've never heard of it until I started doing research on it. It's actually a Microsoft product to where you can uh, create forms that actually bridge into different databases. So if I'm on a user in paperless and I don't know the job number on top of my heart, I can just use my F4 key right inside the form. It'll link right to Timberline pull back my job numbers, uh, subcontract numbers, any kind of database that you can think of, it, Microsoft InfoPath has the ability to actually bridge in there and pull the information back to fill out that form. Uh, the, the, draw, the kind of the drawback of the InfoPath is that it costs money. So each client will have to have it installed either as a separate or if you are implementing the new Office 2010 Pro, uh, it actually comes with it. So if you are going down the path of upgrading your office system inside your company, uh, the Office Pro does have the InfoPath filler that's where you can actually fill in the forms and route them around. So for right now, for the Adobe Acrobat, it's a, it's a good um, way to start if you want to start with the forms. I'd probably look at a, a Acrobat Adobe and expand on that depending on your needs. If you, if you do need those F4 lookups, um, then the InfoPath is actually uh, probably the way to go. And we do offer forms, so we do have these two products, the EWA, so if you need help with uh, some form generations, we'll be more than happy to uh, help you guys with the actual um, form automations.